There's something about a fast-paced, cosmopolitan city that truly inspires entrepreneurs. As part of Local Success Season 2, I will be introducing you to 12 very talented entrepreneurs. As we follow their journey, we discover what it took for them to get to where they are today. Over 2,000 women across the UAE and Saudi Arabia receive a bright pink box full of beauty products every single month, including myself. With just one knock at the door, Glambox Middle East subscribers are introduced to a variety of beauty samples and exclusive makeup tips and tricks. The whole idea behind the concept is to try before you buy. Shant Aknayan, together with his three business partners, are the brains behind the box. Seed funded by the four of them, they launched their startup company in January 2012. How were you and your business partners so certain that this concept was going to work? We weren't actually certain that it was going to work, but we tried to do as much homework as possible in minimizing the risk. My partners and I, there's four of us, we all come from a management consulting background, so very analytical from that perspective. Because we've been advising companies for so long on how to get online and how to create a digital business, we decided that we wanted to do this ourselves. There are four men behind this brand. Are you quite surprised that you've gotten into the beauty business yourself? We are. I mean, we, <laughs> the four of us kind of look at each other now and then and and say, well, what is this product, right? <laughs> Luckily, um, our team is actually um, very experienced women. So we, we rely on their expertise to, to actually choose the right products, uh, create themed boxes as well uh, that you know, will be appealing to consumers. And we're, we're learning along the way. I now know what shimmer is. And uh, <laughs> you know, I, I've discovered a caviar hair mask that I didn't know about. So uh, it's, it's an interesting experience from that Learning experience. It is. Before launching Glambox to the region, the team studied the beauty market within the Western world and questioned what online e-commerce beauty hubs were available. They came across a subscription-based model in the US called Birchabox. Popular among women in America, however, could something like this work in the Arab world? We realized there's no one actually um, you know, catering for women online when it comes to beauty commerce. So we said, you know what, there's a great idea that's working in the Western world. There's nothing like it here. There's demand. Why don't we try it out? And looking at some numbers, we realize that you know the beauty industry in this region is very big and growing very quickly. In Saudi Arabia, we're looking at a $3 billion market and growing at 10, 12%. What is the general feedback from women? I mean, do they do you find them sort of chopping and changing? Are they becoming more demanding and more inquisitive of the different products that are available? Actually, this is the exact problem that we're trying to, to solve. Uh, because it's a very sticky market, once you find a product that you like, you'll carry on buying that. Women do not want to switch from one product to another uh, because it's costly. What if they go and buy a 300 dirham product and they try it and it doesn't work for them? They've just wasted 300 dirhams on a product. Whereas this is a great way for them to discover new brands for a very minimal cost in the comfort of their own home. Some products they will love, some they won't, but at least they will have a little bit more knowledge about what works for them and what doesn't. Glambox has become a force to be reckoned with in the beauty world, having won two awards already, one of which came with the title of startup company to watch for. Gaining recognition so early in the game, Sean says that their e-commerce startup still has a long way to go. Funding is always a challenge for any entrepreneur. One of the other issues that we face as an e-commerce company is logistics. Logistics is fairly expensive in the region. As an e-commerce company, there are some challenges in the region that obviously we're trying to help to overcome. One of them is payments. 70% of e-commerce is still conducted with cash transactions here in the Middle East. And that's had its challenges of people saying, actually, I'd love to pay cash. Can I come to your office and give you the money instead? Why don't you actually trust us and, and, and you know, uh, pay online and, and we'll deliver the goods? And we've seen that that trust has come through. Recently, you've announced a 1.36 million US dollar investment. You've specifically chosen to expand to the Saudi market, Saudi Arabia. Uh, I mean, how fundamental will this venture be for the Glambox team? So Saudi Arabia is the largest domestic market in the region. 
30 million people, um, a lot of big cities uh, in rural areas though, so uh, very dispersed um, population that maybe don't have access to products uh, as extensively as we do here in, in the UAE where there's a mall every corner. So we said, why don't we bring that convenience to their home? This is something that, they're, that we've been getting a lot of requests from Saudi Arabia to say, I want to subscribe to Glambox. So if we start with a Glambox offering for them, and then after that say, well, there's a groom box Excellent. for men, uh, where they can discover maybe new grooming products, beauty products. Men's beauty is actually growing very quickly in this part True. of the world. And why not, why stop there? Why not a baby box? And the options so, are endless. There are multiple options that we're looking into.